guys, welcome to Vlog. Mama, 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 mama. Look at my tongue. <laughs> I've been drinking grenadine. Leaving now to go and meet Lorraine Shu. If you remember very well, Lorraine won my giveaway. So um, her prize was me taking her for lunch. So today we're going to this um, forest place. That's how they call it a forest kind of something place. So that's where we're going to. So, guys, let's go. Let's go together. Bobby, 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 Bobby. <laughs> I'm here with Lorraine. Hi guys. <laughs> Lorraine is trying to set up guys. We're just chilling, waiting for our food. This place is so nice. I'm sure I'm going to I'm not like I'm going to show you what am I talking about, I'm sure. I'm going to show you guys how this place looks like. It's so beautiful. Ah, it's very calm. Stop filming me. <laughs> it's very calm. It's that place like, you know those places that they say, Natif Man place, yes. It's that kind of place that you cannot even believe that it's here till you get here. Like it's so nice and I like the fact that it has a lot of plants, greenery. Like I always say, it has a lot of plants, it has this traditional vibe. In fact, let me stop talking too much. Let me let me show you guys what I'm saying. That's Lorraine. Lorraine is going to film for one hour, then her video will be five minutes. <laughs> <sighs> guys, I'm on a swing. This feels so nice. Try it. I feel like I'm a two year old. The things that excite me are so, it's so fact. <sighs> So relaxing like imagine yourself in this kind of place to eat where you can just lie down and sleep while waiting for your food isn't that beautiful
Lorraine anymore. I'm not owing Lorraine anymore. She has eaten. So I'm owing nobody again for giving away. Nobody. <laughs> Guys, we have eaten. We have eaten so much. So much. At this point, we are feeling like to sleep. But for the sake of content, hush, this place. So, guys, we have eaten, like I said, we have eaten, eaten, and we are presently super full. At this point, I just want to sleep. You know, when I eat, I want to sleep. <laughs> but I said I cannot just end this video like this without talking to a newlywed. So, I just want to ask Lori a couple of questions. She got my. It's never up to one more. Yes. <laughs> I, want to to want to to I want to try to I want to press her bubble because I'll be seven, seven years in marriage on the twenty, and she's going to be one more by the six. So, <laughs> ah, how are you coping? How is, is there any change from before? Any different? The only change is that I can no longer go to our house. <laughs> So you were leaving so you were leaving there before? No, I, I always went there for like weekends. Sometimes I could stay there for you know, one week. Batted, she was doing batted, she was doing batted. <laughs> I mean mm, yeah. We kind of stayed together for weekends, you know, one week, two weeks. Yeah. But I always had in mind that I have to go back to the house. But now I cannot go back to the house. It means that that's the only difference for you. Everything seems basically the same. Um, because everybody's always like, when you marry, you're going to see the difference. So for you, there's no. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's one difference. The fact that I can no longer go to our house, and the fact that I have to cook every other day. <laughs> like no every day, I enter the kitchen. If, like even if I'm not cooking, I just need to enter the kitchen to do something. Like to just do something fresh. Like even if I prepare a meal, and it has to be for two days. The second day, I need to make it different so that it can be new for my husband. So let's say entering the kitchen every day. That's another change. Without which, I think everything is still the same because we were pretty much very good friends and. Yeah, the vibe is just there. I mean, it's just vibes, like right? just vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? What about family? How are you coping? Are they respecting you now more? They're like, no, no, really don't worry too. Look, coy, anyhow. Like my family members. Yes. <laughs> we are Where the same, Lori. My younger sisters will call me all the time. <laughs> all the time. So Anything my, my that she needs, she'll call and ask. Wait, wait. My sister was not calling me anyhow when I got married. Ah. She was always like, no, I think I'm for you. I don't want you to step. I don't want you to be that. <laughs> I'm the one. But ah, ah, what's there? They should call. I don't mind. I'm still available. Ah, which means, in other words, you're just trying to say that there's no difference. It's still as if you are dating. It's just that you have a ring on your hand. So you're trying to say that all of us who used to say that when you get married, you know the difference. There's no really any difference. Actually, the thing is, it's a new life, you see now. So you don't really realize when things are changing. But for now, that's for now that's what we are doing. Maybe we are going to have a change when we are probably going to move out to a different house, or maybe we'll have a kid. Maybe when something major will happen, I'll feel the change. But for now, it's just as though we were still dating, but I just can't go back to our house. That's the feeling I have, and the fact that I have to be cooking for you. You're not, you're not feeling the same. This man, you are tied down forever. Nah, I I'm cannot not, be free. I'm not. I, I'm not feeling tied down. At least for now, but I'm not feeling tied down. It was a decision, a conscious know, decision. Yeah. So I'm not really feeling tied down. I'm feeling like okay, this is what I wanted, and now I have it. So what we have in mind, like both of us, is okay. We need to make this thing work. That's what we have at the back of our mind that it has to work because now we got married. Um, my husband's father he sent me a message and said okay you guys were so great lovely couple and a lot of people are so inspired by your union that's what my husband's father told me and then he said i want you guys to continue what you guys have started so it's more like okay this is an assignment and we need to prove you know to our family and friends that okay we did not take their coming to our wedding for granted so yeah 
<sighs> Say you just gotta go. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you three years. You be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that girl like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe when I tell we'll come, we we'll know what to say. <laughs> I know. So yeah, guys, I just thought I should ask her. Let's see how our newly wedded is doing. And apparently, she's doing she's doing really really well. I wanted her to be telling me like, oh my god, can I? I did not know that this is the way it was going to be. <laughs> then she's still in the honeymoon stage. I'm going to have this same discussion in six months. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, guys, um, we're about to leave now, so I just thought we should have a little chat with Lorraine and we can go. Home. Hi, guys, so um, that was not the end of this video. I forgot that I did not tell you guys what I think about this place, so I'll just go ahead and tell you before this video ends. So, this place is kind of in between um, Aqua and Bali. Um, the name of the neighborhood is called Kayu Eli. Yes, and see guys, the very first thing I like about this place is that, you know those hidden places, those places that there's a beautiful place here, but you don't even know that this type of place is there. That's the first thing I like about it. Like it's in in a fence okay in a fence and inside that fence there are apartments for rented just by it you see the place so first of all that's the first thing that wowed me i was like wow i can't I, you you wouldn't even guess that this thing is here like you wouldn't guess you wouldn't in your wildest dream you never feel like this place can be here that's something i like so it's a private place if you want to go to somewhere that is private and it was not packed private and even the way it is set up right you could be there and people know people will not even know that you're there so that's about it that's one of my favorite things about the place the fact that it's private the fact that people don't even know that it's there but it's there those hidden but really good places that's the very first thing the second thing is that i like the concept of all the greenery the plants like that whole place has different kinds of plants and things like that i like the decor so i like the plants i like like there's not the same chair in any place each section has different chairs like it's just like it's really a creative the forest creative loft as it says because it's really creative like you don't have the same table anywhere like every table is different every chair is different every section is different i love that and i love the area we decided to sit in in that place you can actually lie down there's a mat you can lie down and sleep there's this poof um these soft poofs that you can sit on like it was just basically really nice comfortable i loved loved it what else mm, their food was good but i wanted grilled chicken we wanted a whole grilled chicken but we could not um eat the grilled chicken because they said they do grill only during the weekend so they did us this chicken with white sauce oh my god it was delicious except for the fact that i had too many onions but if you're an onion lover you will love it it was delicious we had it with irish potatoes <sighs> guys the experience in the place was really good that is one of those places that if you want to have a cool head i feel like um on those days i just want to be alone and you don't you don't want to be home but you don't want to be alone you just want to be alone out of your house you can go there just sit down you can walk like the place is so calm it's just like like lorraine said when you get into that gate right it's just as if all the noisiness of duala goes away i don't even know how possible that is because she was telling me that before we went there, I was like, but how is that possible? How will it be that quiet? Like, what did they do? But guys, I don't know. As you enter that place, the road, where you go out of the gate is really noisy. But as you enter that place, it just becomes calm. <laughs> I don't know whether the trees absorb the, no the noise or what. But that place is so calm and nice. And then for the price, a new pool must have seen the, the, the menu. It's not that expensive. Like, I feel like the prices are reasonable. I feel like the most expensive plate of food was the chicken. But it's a whole chicken which you can take and four people will eat and that was 12k that's what we took but other than that no even their their cocktails mm, oh my god i enjoyed the cocktail their cocktails were they're not that expensive i feel like the most expensive cocktail was like seven five or eight thousand yeah their cocktails from four thousand to like eight thousand 
normally it's just the wines and the whiskeys that are expensive and we all know that those type of things are usually expensive so yeah but one thing i will complain like one complaint i'll make about the place is going to be that the food took so long to come like i did not eat before going because i wanted to eat well i stayed and stayed and stayed and i got really hungry i was just like what is happening like are these people trying to kill somebody's child <laughs> they stayed i feel like the food took like 45 minutes to come but when it came it was delicious so it cancelled that but i also feel in their defense i feel like it's because we ordered something that they normally were not supposed to do so they had to start making it from scratch because they told us the menu of the day was dole but guys i'm not a fan of dole like that so i didn't want to eat dole so yeah i like the fact too that they have all everything they have from traditional meals to like kind of western not, not western like grilled and stuff like that so yeah guys that is it this is how Lauren's giveaway went I'm happy because I'm not owing anybody again thank you very much for watching guys and I'm going to see you tomorrow love you bye